Hey guys, this is Paul from Phone Arena and we're checking out the iOS 11 developer preview on an iPad Pro 9.7 inch right here. Now this is an early build, not even ready to be a public beta yet, but there's enough here to give us a pretty good idea of where Apple's new operating system is going. So let's explore the app dock down here. As you can see, it's sort of different now. It's this floating stripe that kind of looks like the dock in Mac OS. The first awesome thing that you're going to notice is that it now holds up to 13 user selected apps. And the reason I said user selected here is because beyond this separator we have a persistent recent apps field which will always show you the last 3 recently used apps. So the dock holds up to 16 apps with 3 of them being picked automatically by iOS. We'll see how this comes into play in just a second. So we open up an app and, as we all know, working on tablets is often finicky due to the limited multitasking. Well, with iOS 11, if you want to quickly switch between programs, just pull from the bottom and you get your app dock. Now you have instant access to your favorite apps and the ones that you used recently. So it's sort of like alt-tabbing on PC. You can also pull up further and you will get the new app switcher window with the dock right down here and the control center on the right. The way you launch split view has also been reworked. Now while we're working on the main screen here, we can pull up the dock, grab our desired app and pull it right to the rightmost or leftmost edge to launch split view. Alternatively, you can launch an app in floating window mode. Just do the same as before, but don't pull it all the way to the edge, just plop it over the left or right half of the display. There's our window. Now we can swipe it away when we don't need it and pull it back in when we do. Grab its handle and pull it down to enter split view. Then do the same if you want to go in floating window mode again. Back to the app dock though, those were not all the tricks that it has up its sleeve. It seems like apps will get their own contextual pop-up menus when you tap and hold on them within the dock. Now, in this preview of iOS 11, only the Files app has this pop-up, but we can get an idea of what it's about. So we tap and hold and we get our recently used files. From here we can just tap on one to open it or grab it and drag it anywhere. We can place it in our main working area or we can drag it to another app and paste it there. There you have it guys, a quick look at the awesome new app dock. If you want to know more as it becomes available, make sure to follow phonearena.com and get all the news in mobile tech.